Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and just coming at you with another vlog. <coughs> Basically on the, uh, the movie news and such, what's going on. So, yes, that's... Uh, and also have, like, two Blu-rays that I want to show. Uh, just got these months ago, and uh, I'm not going to save them for another uh, Blu DVD Blu-ray update, because that, that won't be for a while. But, uh, anyways, uh, before I get into the movie news... Uh, I want to let you all know that uh, I'm going to be moving out of this apartment. Uh, me and my sister and my parents are going to be moving out. Uh, we're going to be moving to Staten Island in a new apartment, uh, which I'm definitely looking forward to. Uh, moving everything out in two weeks. Uh, so, uh, definitely looking forward to uh, moving to a new apartment, uh, new, uh, new uh, you know, city. You know, Staten Island, but it's still gonna be still gonna be living in New York. Uh, but you know, family's out there and such. And uh, plus, uh, not too far away from a shopping center, and at that shopping center, there's a uh, movie theater right there, uh, Regal Theater, which uh, has uh, cheap tickets. The tickets are cheap for at that theater. So hopefully, you know, if I see a movie. Uh, that you know my friends don't want to you know see uh, you know I could just see myself at you know watching the movie at that theater you know uh, probably like Thursday night early screenings uh, before the movie opens the next day so yeah so that's it's gonna be fun though uh, I'm definitely looking forward to a new apartment uh, I'm gonna be in uh, may do a video uh, showing uh, you know what uh, my room's gonna be uh, looking like, you know, what my room is going to look like because, you know, I'm not sharing a room with my sister no more. Not sharing a room with my sister no more. You know, we shared it for uh, 16 years, and that's how long we've been uh, living here. And uh, just today, I took out, uh, I just took down, uh, if you can see uh, the shelf right here. This is where all my uh, DVDs were. You know, you had the TV shows there and other DVDs there. I packed all that up today and uh, all that up there I packed away uh, this past weekend. So, yeah, so like I said, definitely looking forward to the new apartment. And, uh, yeah, so, but, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to show you the, uh, the Blu-rays that I've gotten uh, months ago uh, when they came out. Uh, didn't uh, didn't want to save it for another uh, DVD Blu-ray update because you'll, it's going to be a while since uh, you see another one. But these two I did movie reviews on, so if you haven't seen them, go check them out. Uh, first one is King's Men: The Secret Service. Uh, it stars Colin Firth, Samuel L. Jackson, and Michael Caine. Uh, like I said, did a review on this film. Uh, go check it out. I loved this movie. Uh, my appearance on my list of fair films of this year. So, yeah, so it was just really action-packed, uh, really fun. And it's just a, you know, good movie. Uh, has a lot of rewatch value to it. So, but, yeah, so check out Kingsman the Secret Service. And the last one that I got uh, was Project Almanac, uh, which I also reviewed. Uh, really enjoyed this movie. Uh, so, yeah, it's a pretty cool movie. Uh, that was produced by Michael Bay uh, about these people who create a time machine and uh, you know they have fun with it they go places and you know towards the towards like the almost the end of the movie everything goes crazy and everything goes wrong for them uh, it's a really really cool movie I would uh, recommend it so and it comes with a uh, a ten dollar movie card in there uh, which is good till uh, the 31st of this month so I don't know if I'm gonna use it though but we'll like to so yeah so these are the only two blu-rays that I've gotten so yeah but I recommend both movies and if you haven't like I said if you haven't seen my reviews of them go check it out go check them out and so now uh, into the movie news uh, 
Fantastic Four's producer admits production was rough, claims film is not a disaster. Yeah, because a lot of people are complaining about this new Fantastic Four reboot. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, Human Torch is black. Why is he black? Well, you know, Michael B. Jordan could do a good job as Human Torch. You know, maybe uh, it's an alternate universe. And, you know, just people complain about it. It kind of feels, it kind of, you know, feels racist about it. Uh, but, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to the Fantastic Four reboot. Uh, may go see it this weekend or next week, uh, hopefully. But, you know, maybe, maybe not. But if I do, there will be a review on it. So. Uh... Uh, stupid news that I found out yesterday. Uh, they're actually making a movie, an animated movie about uh, the Pez candy. Why? Why are they doing this? It's just as dumb as them saying about making the Emoji movie. Yes, people, they're making a uh, Emoji movie. Oh, God, I don't believe it. See what else is there. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Black Panther may have a fascinating new directing candidate. Now yeah, we'll see who, uh, who they got. Uh, Prometheus 2 is definitely happening. Uh, heard that they're going to uh, film the sequel, Prometheus 2, in January of next year. So, uh, definitely looking forward to Prometheus 2. Uh, I enjoyed the first one. I know a lot of people uh, didn't. But, you know, I enjoyed it. Even though it's, you know, it's a prequel to the Alien films. But, yeah. Uh, they had the trailer for trailer for the Deadpool uh, movie, uh, which I saw. It was actually uh, funny. Uh, I did see the uh, the trailer to Seth Rogen's new uh, film, The Night Before. Uh, found it funny. Uh, definitely looking forward to it. Uh, it's not coming out until November. Uh, it has him in it, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Uh, wow, really? Stuart Little is getting a remake. Why do we really need a remake of Stuart Little? I mean, it's sad because not not a lot of people talk about that uh, Stuart Little nowadays. Like, I, like it's been forgotten about. Like, like I don't hear uh, people talking about it. Uh, you know, then how? You know, when they were talking about it back then. So back then, a lot of people were talking about Stuart Little. Uh, Michael J. Fox uh, did a really good job voicing uh, Stuart Little. Uh, of course, uh, the kid Jonathan Lipnicki was uh, good at playing uh, the kid George, who was, you know, Stuart's brother. Uh, Chan Tatum officially closes deal as Gambit. Yeah, for you fans of X-Men out there. The Crow, the Crow reboot is having even more problems. Why do we need a reboot of The Crow? If they're having more of these problems, they should just scrap the project. Just leave the, leave the movie alone. I mean, Brandon, I mean, Brandon Lee, rest in peace, he was phenomenal in, that, in the uh, first movie, in the original Crow movie. Uh, won't care to see the sequels, though. They're still making Beverly Hills Cop 4. So, fans of that. I've never even seen any of the Beverly Hills Cop films. Uh, I think I saw, like, clips and pieces of it, but not the whole films. But not the whole movie. Uh, even though I heard 3 sucks.
Rush Hour 4 is a possibility. Nah. I don't know. I don't know. I heard pretty negative things about Rush Hour 3. Uh, I've seen clips of uh, Rush Hour 3. Uh, it's that one where they go to Paris. So. Really? Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 is still Sony's highest grossing movie of the year. <laughs> wow. I, mean, I, I, like, I only saw the first Paul Blart Mall Cop movie. Haven't seen it in a while, but I remember liking it. I remember having fun with it. I still have yet to see the sequel, though. I heard uh, pretty negative things about it. So, uh, yeah, so... Pretty much that's it for the movie news and such, but you know, just oh yeah, the uh, the Ghostbusters cast, the woman of the Ghostbusters reboot, actually dropped in uh, for like a uh, you know, like a, I think it was like I forgot what it was, but they were seeing like kids. Uh, they were visiting a children's hospital, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, so that's basically, well, you know, my opinions on the, the new Ghostbusters reboot uh, won't, won't even, I won't show my opinions on it until I see the trailer. So, but, anyways, uh, pretty much that's it for the movie news. Uh, not a whole lot that's going on, but, you know, anyways, uh, going to end the video right here, a short little vlog, uh, just... Uh, thank you all for watching, and, you know, I hope, you know, I get to see Fantastic Four reboot, the Fantastic Four reboot next week, or uh, this weekend. You know, hopefully I get to see it, and, uh, you know, move in, and, uh, like, I was planning a whole lot of stuff, you know, like, I want to review the uh, original series, the four seasons of the original Heroes in time for, you know, Heroes Reborn next month. But, uh, you know, also I want to review The Flash Season 1 and Daredevil the whole Season 1. You know, but, you know, with all the stuff going on, you know, me moving and packing and everything, just not going to have the time. Uh, so, but, you know, hopefully, you know, if I have uh, access to the Internet when I'm officially, you know, moved in uh, to a new apartment, uh, definitely uh, do those uh, reviews. So... Yeah, so anyways, thank you all for watching, and until the next video, I'll see you all later.